It is December 22nd, 2016. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. Oop, let me get switched over here. Earlier, um, I was reading an article from, uh, or that was, it was about Trump, and Trump talking about expanding uh, the nuclear capabilities of, of the country, uh, updating the outdated equipment and whatnot. Um, shortly after that, uh, I seen yet another article where Putin was staking claims to, this, to the same type of activities. So uh, CNN took both and put them together. Trump, Putin both seek to boost their nuclear capability. Um, this is what the article says. President-elect Donald Trump signaled Thursday that he will look, in, look to strengthen and expand the U.S. nuclear capability hours after Russian President Vladimir Putin pledged to enhance his country's nuclear forces. See, I didn't even know Putin had said that prior to uh, Trump saying that. Uh, the exchange appeared to raise the prospect of a new arms race between the two nuclear superpowers, which between them boast more than 14,000 nuclear warheads, the still deadly legacy of the four decades long Cold War standoff. But the comments by Putin, who is presiding over a project to restore Russia's lost global power and influence, and Trump, who will shortly become the U.S. Commander in Chief, did not spell out exactly what each side is proposing or whether a major change of nuclear doctrine is in the offing. Trump weighed in with a tweet just hours after Putin spoke following a meeting with his military advisors to review the activity of the past year. The United States must greatly strengthen and expand its nuclear capability until such time as the world uh, comes to its senses regarding nukes, Trump wrote. It was not immediately clear if the president-elect is proposing an entire new nuclear policy that he would begin to flush out once he takes office next year. Trump could also be referring to plans to modernize the current U.S. nuclear arsenal that are currently underway and will cost hundreds of billions of dollars. The Obama administration has obtained a plan, or outlined, sorry, outlined a plan to modernize delivery systems, command and control systems, and to refurbish warheads in the U.S. nuclear triad, the U.S. force of sea, airborne, and missile-delivered nuclear weapons. But the plans keep the size of the nuclear force at existing levels. Trump's tweet appeared to envisage, I guess is what that is, an exp <laughs> envision an expansion of, uh, of the size of nuclear U.S. nuclear force, but it was not immediately clear if that is the case. Trump Communications Director Jason Miller sent a statement to try to explain the president-elect's tweet on nuclear capability. He suggested Trump was referring to the threat of nuclear proliferation and the critical need to prevent it, although that was not referenced in the tweet. He also said Trump was emphasizing the need to modernize our deterrent capability. In Moscow earlier today, Putin said in a defense speech that Russia needs to enhance the combat capability of strategic nuclear forces primarily by strengthening missile com complexes that will be guaranteed to penetrate existing and future missile defense systems. Putin's remarks appeared to suggest that he was talking about new weapon systems that could overcome U.S. missile de defenses, a development that could force the U.S. to respond. It was not clear, however, if he was contemplating an expansion of the total numbers of Russian weapons or, or of the stocks of those arms that are deployed. Trump and Putin have suggested Trump's inauguration next month will bring in closer relations after the two sides retreated to their most entrenched positions since the end of the Cold War. The ambiguity... Uh, you know, ah, uh, these words. <laughs> uh, let's see, Putin's remarks also suggested that he may be laying an opening gambit in his relationship um, with the new U.S. president-elect. I don't know why I'm tongue-tied tongue, uh, tongue today, but I am. The Russian president is seeking to return Russia to the front ranks of global influence, a project that is key to his domestic political survival and often involves actively seeking to undermine U.S. power. His power plays in Ukraine and Syria and military maneuvers close to the borders of former Wa Warsaw Pact states have alarmed Western leaders and stoked tensions in Europe. Yeah, see, it's, it's not okay... <laughs> It's not okay for him to, you know, do maneuvers and stuff on, on Russian 
soil, but it's it's okay for us to uh, to do so just right off of Russian soil. I don't I don't understand this, but anyway. And while Russia's economic and conventional military strength pales beside that of the U.S., its nuclear arsenal remains the root of its power and prestige. It is also unlikely to be a coincidence that Putin's remarks came three days before the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Soviet Union, a collapse he views as a disaster of history. Trump, who sees foreign policy through the eyes of an ultimate dealmaker, may have felt the need to respond to Putin's remarks. He did so a day after meeting with his incoming military officials at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida. CNN's Barbara Starr reported that his talk that the talks included discussion of plans to modernize the U.S. nuclear arsenal. The president-elect's choice of Twitter to make such an important and sensitive statement was characteristic of his operating style, but it underlined how the shorthanded communication of policy by social media is imprecise and open to multiple interpretations that are already posing problems for uh, for foreign governments as they seek divine Trumps seek to divine Trump's true intentions. Still, the suggestion that he could preside over a new nuclear arms race will spook critics who argued he showed himself uh, unfamiliar with basic nuclear doctrine during the campaign. Um, and then the rest, I'm not going to read the rest of it. I'll put the link down in the description. You get, a, you get an idea of what's going on. Um, I did read another article today um, that stated that Russia had tested 162 new and updated weapons uh, in Syria. So just kind of some interesting notes to add to all of this. Um, I, I'm kind of confused a little bit um, because I, I, I kind of thought that, that he was having a, a little better relations with Russia, meaning Trump was having a little better relations with Russia um, than previous presidents. So I really don't know. I do know that Putin had came out and said uh, this, this was a little while back that um, just because Trump became president doesn't necessarily mean that relations would get any better. And, uh, and, and who knows? Who knows what's all going on? But I figured this was important to, uh, to bring to everybody's attention and just keep